Right, welcome to winter. I don't know about anybody else, but my house is like a bloody leper colony. Um, I've no sooner got over my illness than my son is now ill, my puppy is now ill, and my missus is coming down with some illness as well. So I've escaped to my garage um, just to get some fresh air, really, even though it's freezing. Um, so a couple of reviews today, uh, and I'm going to get these done as quick as I can. Um, for two reasons. The first reason is I'm going to review this, but I've actually already reviewed it and I messed up and didn't realise it was the same um, as a little charger that I'd already reviewed. And the second is more interesting, which is this guy. So if we get down to it and have a look and see what the score is. First up we have this, which is the Toolkit RC charger. And this is a little charger that's good for 1 to 8 tests. 300 watts and it will also put out 15 amps um, and this guy's got quite a few tricks up its sleeve and I when I sort of like half asleep said I would review this I thought it was different than this so that's the M800 and this is the M8 and they're basically identical same specs same interface this one seems to have a much nicer wheel on it than this one ever did, which happened to sort of skip um, clicks, whereas this one's nice and chunky. And this one didn't last me too long, or so I thought. But the other day when I was playing around with it to see if it was the same as, as this one, I noticed that I'd actually bent a pin in the, um, in the balance port, which was the thing that had been causing me issues the whole time so apologies toolkit rc and the charger actually works perfectly so this is my old one which i've had for some time and this had quite a lot of use out of it both in my garage but also at the field because like a lot of lipo chargers these days it will accept an xt60 connector so if you've got a big battery lurking around um, you can happily field charge and I used mine with this massive 10,000 milliamp hour um, Hobby King one. So this guy is essentially exactly the same. Both pros and cons. And the pro of this little guy is obviously it's, it's tiny. And for its size it pumps out a fair bit of power. So of course you've got the usual charging you can sort of set different profiles in here which it will remember and of course you've got the usual charge discharge all the rest of it and you can choose from your various different types of batteries a whole host of different options so there isn't a huge amount to say about this little guy other than the fact that it's dirt cheap um, i think this is on sale about 29 quid at the moment which is super cheap for a little charger um, if you're getting into the hobby, but it also has a few tricks. One, it can output um, a particular power, so you could get it to output 12 volt or 5 volt or anything like that if you were testing things. It can also measure PWM signals, PPM and S bus. And again, you can use it to test how good your batteries are by basically seeing um, what the resistance is in them. So it's not just a charger, but I've got to say I've never used any of the other features because if I want 5 volt from somewhere, I've generally got an easier and better and more reliable source, which is generally a flight controller. Um, so apologies. I, As I said, when I, when I got this in for review, I thought it would be an updated model compared to this one, but the only thing as far as updates that I can see is the scroll wheel is now less sensitive to clicks and actually goes where you want it to do whereas this one it had a habit of sort of running off so if you're looking for a little small field charger or you're moving into the hobby and you want a cheap sort of you know four or six s charger etc this isn't a bad one to look out for for the money and as i said my one is still working perfectly it's just if you shove it in your bag if you shove it in your bag, just take care not to damage these pins like I did. 
And as you can see, I'm powering mine from an old laptop power supply with an XT60 stuck on the end. And I've tested this guy against my other battery chargers, um, and it seems pretty accurate, um, getting the same results as the other more expensive chargers I've got. So, yeah, not a lot to dislike, to be honest with you. Got a USB uh, port out as well, uh, 5 volt, 2.1 amps. Yeah, and just, it is a charger, a very cheap charger with a relatively nice interface, not as nice as the interfaces that you get on the more expensive ISDT and the other bigger chargers that I've got. But for, yeah, for 20 odd quid, 29 quid or whatever they are, definitely worthwhile to look at if you want a little tiny charger to put in your bag. Weighs next to nothing. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.